Hello, my name is Sergio Pereira and I work with Winning Appliances. Uh, I've been a chef for 25 years and I've worked all over the world, France, Japan, Spain, and I've worked at some fine dining establishments as well as working with clients, entertainers, musicians, and all sorts of people helping them uh, define a new lifestyle and a new way of cooking. Today I'm joined by the healthy chef, Teresa Cutter, who's going to show us a beautiful French crepe recipe. Yes, I am. French crepes that are healthy, delicious, and good for you. So tell us more about yourself, Teresa. I'm a classically trained chef. I'm also a personal trainer and a nutritionist. So I pretty much combine the whole, the whole three systems into teaching people how to cook healthy, how to eat healthy, and how to live a better life, basically. And focus on sim and simplicity. So the main thing about the Healthy Chef and what we do is we keep it simple. We keep it fresh and we teach people to make it themselves. It doesn't have to be expensive. It's healthy, it's delicious, it's good for you. Get into the kitchen, cook for yourself, and actually know what's in the food that you eat. So tell us how you made these amazing looking crepes. Okay, really, really simple. First, I, I cracked six eggs into a large bowl, and then I gave it a little light whisk, and I've combined that with some almond milk, and also some spelt flour into a gorgeous thin batter. You can season with a little bit of salt as well. Now it's really important that the crepe batter is not too thick. So I normally like to run um, a spoon into the mix, put my finger down the spoon and just, 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 just to make sure that the consistency is correct and it's not too thick. Once the batter is ready, it's really important you have a really hot pan. So put it over a high heat, let the pan get nice and hot. I like to drizzle in just a tiny bit of olive oil. So you only need a little bit drizzled into the pan of crepe batter and making sure that the whole pan is completely covered in the crepe mix. Then pretty much all you do is wait a minute or so until the crepes are cooked completely underneath. You can use your fingers to flip it over and cook the other side. And the other side should only take around 30 seconds. As soon as the crepes are cooked, you just slide the lovely gorgeous crepes from your nonstick pan onto a serving plate and you continue cooking the crepe mix until all the crepe mix is used up. Once you have the basic gorgeous crepes made, that's when you can plate it up into a sweet or savoury option. I've, I've pretty much um, done mine here with blueberries, a Greek style yogurt and a little bee, bee pollen and honey. And as a savoury option, it's pretty, pretty cool. I've just done some smashed avocado, some goat's feta, some lovely ripe cherry tomatoes, some lemon juice, a bit of sea salt and a drizzle of olive oil. Delicious. Thank you so much, Teresa, for joining us and sharing this recipe. And make sure to go onto the website and download the full recipe.